Hey guys, we have this Epson Stylus Photo R260 printer and sometimes when you have a printer like this here and you're trying to get some paper out of the inside of the printer, like paper was jammed or whatever and still giving you errors or you want to get inside to clean the timing strip or do something else, get access to your main board, access to your print head, um, you may want to remove the top cover and in this video I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing we'll need to do is unlock this carrier. So we'll, we'll just press this ink button. It'll release it from the lock mechanism over there. And uh, then I'll just unplug the printer. Let's go ahead and unplug it from the back. See all the lights go out. If I was to remove the top cover and then work on my print head, which I'm planning to do, I don't have to worry about it being locked in there. Um, so I just unlocked this and I'm going to get right to removing this top cover. So as you can see there's two screws right here. There's also a couple screws on the back of the printer and another screw right there by the lid. And we have a screw right here and on this side as well. Let's just get those screws out. We're going to do our top screw. We're using Phillips head screwdriver tip. Put all these here. This one there. And then we have one more over here. Oops. Okay, now what we'll need to do is remove the sides first. So we're just going to find, get in here with the flathead screwdriver and just kind of push it and that'll pull it back. Unlocks our side panel on the left and just move on it. You can um, also unclip it from the back. There's holes you'll see here. Just unclip it, remove that, and then push over here. So these are the clips I'm talking about. Same concept on this side. We have clips right here. I'm gonna press them in and try to pull the um, pull the panel back, or we can just go ahead and do the same here. there you can see that it released already there and then we're just going to find a convenient section here seems that on top it probably works best and just kind of twist a little bit and that should push it back here, there we go. Can pull our panel back again. And got rid of that. Then we can remove the screw right here. There's a screw right inside of this hole right here. The hole is pretty deep here, so we're get, we're going to use the longer screwdriver. Like that. Go to this side and do the same here. So to remove this piece, we're just going to press right here and slide it up like that. Now we have access to this hole with the screw. My screw um, screwdriver is a little bit bent, that's why it's going wobbly a little bit. So at this point, what you'll need to do is just get a flathead screwdriver and unclip this on each side. It's gonna be on the right side, and you can already see how the panel just slides up. 
or the whole top cover slides up. Let's do the same thing on this side. So it's this tab right here. Just unclip it and pull it up. Okay, and now we have This one. We're going to just go ahead and slide this up like so. There's no wires attached to the top of this cover. So we're just going to go ahead and remove it. And now we have access to our main board, which is here. Uh, we have a better access to the print head, the timing strip. I'm going to go ahead and clean it. It's pretty dusty in there. Okay, so there's like gear access right here. Uh, you can see where, if, if you have like a paper jam, you can see where it's at. Um, so like I said, this is the main board right there. Timing strip is all over here, and you can get access in there. Then you can remove the main board and everything else here in order to get better access to like that side if you need to. Um, this is our paper feed right here. If you need to clean rollers and stuff like that, you have a better access with that top removed. And honestly, it's not that hard now that you know it. We have the absorber pads right here. We have the print head over here, and I'm going to have a video on how to remove the print head. And we're going to start it about here without the top. So um, this is our control panel right here, and the buttons um, or the connections are further in here. You can just also remove a few screws and get better access to that. This is the paper support. A trait that I removed when removing the top and you'll need to do the same thing It's very simple to remove it and put it back. This tab right here is very flexible You can and it has the hole where you put this tab in here So you what you want to do is you want to make sure you put it in the right side Then you're gonna align this Make sure you align this because this is your paper width measure and it goes with the top cover So it has to be right inside of there um, and then you're just going to go ahead and slide this into the proper area. So into that hole right there. And you have this properly installed. To remove it, very simple. You just push it back and it removes. So this is pretty much how you remove the top of the printer. And hopefully that's something that was helpful for you and helped you with your project. Then make sure you just put it back the right way. Once again, you need to remove this. Slide this back on. There we go. Snaps on on the left and the right. And we're good to go. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, and have a great day.